visit from our good friend, the old toy picker, Jerry yeah. McGee is here. Yeah, and our great. last visit before your big show. Starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Tomorrow already? Tomorrow through wow. Sunday. Yep. Oh, For the past geez. six so weeks. This is why we can't have Jerry. nice I lost his head. Jerry's been coming and showing us all kinds of toys Don't that you may have head. found in your attic or your basement or your it, garage. Jackie. And he brought another batch of them today. And what you want where you to do here? is go to the garage or your basement and grab your old toys and bring them over to where you guys are going to be located. <laughs> yep, we're going to be at the Merle Hay exit off of 80 at the Ramada Resorts Convention Center. And, uh, that's through Sunday, so it starts tomorrow. It's through Sunday. What time does it start tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's 10 o'clock. It's 10 till 6, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5. This so. is going to be a big deal. If you have toys and you want some cash for them, this is where you get it. Yeah, and it's it's fast. You know, people think, oh, there's going to be a lot of people oh, there. there <laughs> <laughs> he lost his head again? <laughs> I'm not allowed to play with Steve either. Tom, hang on. Yeah. 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 Head. She's having too much fun with it. <laughs> three PO's head. But it, people get through within 15, 20 minutes minutes usually yeah. so it's not like it's and most of the people that are there uh, like to watch what's going on too so and you can bring anything like a headless C3PO yeah uh, we're you, working on the model it's soon to be less of other things too if we can let it <laughs> yeah. go on like value <laughs> all right let's go down the line here and show everybody uh, some of the things that you brought that you hopefully uh, uh, spark some ideas well what we're recapping of what we went through for the last yeah. six weeks uh, I don't think we've brought model kits before no Ooh, that was huge growing yeah, up yeah those are really big still uh, so model kits are always good. They can be built too. Well, I was going to say, with really? this, in yeah. this Doesn't case matter. with yeah. uh, C3PO, well, it's, the value is less. But I see. The okay. pieces have been taken off the thing, and that's kind of why I'm playing with it here. I didn't dismantle it. Yeah, that it one's myself. somebody. There's a good example. Somebody had built that, but then they saved it. And the glue gets a little loose after a while, and, oh, and it, it comes apart. But but it's easily put back together. Okay. You know, or and of course so the display for the case. box is part of it. They can put the model back together and display it with the box. This sure. Is the lid for it here. So and that's part of the charm if you have the box. And we also didn't talk about the spy related <laughs> okay. in the past. Those are, that was huge in the 60s. You know, Mattel. James Bond movies coming out, everybody had to have, this is a camera that turned into a little cap gun. Ooh. Cool. So you take their picture and all of a sudden it pictures. turns into a gun and you turn it on them like James <laughs> Bond. And they made a lot of neat stuff like that. Of course, Lou's already seen the... Yeah, check this out, Craig. I'm going to show you something. These were fun to collect when we were kids. Uh, what were the titles? Wacky Packages. Wacky Packages. Mm -hmm. Blunder, blunder <laughs> Bread, yeah. J-Lo. Sure. Oh, J-Lo. Yeah. Plastered. <laughs> Peanuts. Peanuts. Sure. Never, Never ready. ready batteries. I think that was one of the, the most fun ones. Yeah. But these are uh, just all ah. different collectible things. Rabid Shave instead of Rapid Shave, which yeah. is name, a brand name. But these are kind of neat too. So if you have these, you, you have a chance to get some. Well, cash literally every one that you just handled there is twenty dollars a piece. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty dollars a piece? In that condition, you know, they're nice and straight. They haven't been bent. Right. Yeah, put or there or in a bicycle wheel. Right. You know, right. With a, with a clothespin. Yeah, and that's, I mean, so there's stuff people don't realize, you know. It's easy to realize some, you know, lunchboxes. What about the metal lunchbox? TV show. This is Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. The graphics, again, were so colorful back then. Right. Uh, and, and again, anything TV show related or famous character is going to be worth more. But and we've learned that having the thermos is, makes it more valuable. Makes it more mm -hmm. valuable, but by no means do, does it need it to. You know, they're, they're graded individually. I see. In other words, we, if you just have thermos, we'd buy that. If you just have the lunchbox, we'd buy that. Okay. Of course, Barbies and <laughs> huge. Barbie's always popular. G.I. Yeah. Joe and Barbie's, everybody's going to have those. They're easy to store in your closet. And, you know, they kept them. They're around. And Space-related, I don't think we talked about that as much either. This was our Star Wars of the time. I see. Of my era. Okay. That's Major Matt Mason. Of course, they got the outfits that look like the moon landings. And, mm -hmm. of course, everything else that came out then. Like Viewmasters. Oh, yeah. Moon, right. moon. Viewmasters, yeah. 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 I think kids would still like Viewmasters. Oh, well, I, I think we talked about it a couple weeks ago. These are very, very up and coming. I mean, they're becoming even more popular than ever. Yeah, here's a, the here's a little Adamant one. Check Cartoon that. related. And, and Secret we certainly can't say enough about Hot Wheels. Yeah. They Always retain their value. They do not have to be in the package. Certainly loose. They do not have to be in great condition. Oh, that condition. one has a little metal uh, medallion badges. with it, too. And those yeah. are separate. You, you, we pay extra for the badges. And you said the hot rods in general are worth more? Yeah, anything that's muscle car related is going to be worth more. If okay. you've got a Mustang, a Camaro, a Charger. Because uh, the people that dug those cars back then when they were little kids are old enough to buy them now, so now they want the toys. And, and that's what them. we call a cross-collectible. Mm -hmm. 
So you don't have to be a Hot Wheel collector to want a Hot Wheel Camaro. You just have to have an interest in having a Camaro. Same with model kits. You don't have to be a model collector. That's why some categories in the toys are more stronger than others over a period of time. And certainly models is huge. The uh, Hot Wheels is really big. And now we're getting back to Star Wars again, as Jason would know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially with the <laughs> recent announcement, too. So Star Wars will be big, too. But you are paying cash money for cash toys. Cash money, yep. And, uh, and other things that are related. Uh, you know, we'll look at old signs. If somebody's got some old Coke signs, things like that, too. Okay. But, I mean, our main push is old toys, but it seems like everybody's got some other little extra thing they want to ask about. And we're happy to answer questions, so too. So bring them on over. There. No doubt about it. That's right. definitely in my calendar. I, I went last time you, yeah, did, you this did and, and brought my sons, and we just had a blast. I mean, it was fun. So you couldn't get them out of there. No. <laughs> All right, here's what's going on, and what does it cost to get in? There's no charge. No charge no to charge. get in. No, no. All right, this is starting tomorrow, folks, and goes through Sunday. So take advantage of it. Ramada Tropics Resort and Conference Center, Merle Hay, and I-80, exit 131. It's right there. Everybody knows where that location is. So go on over all day long and enjoy yourself and bring your old toys, make some money. Or if nothing else, just walk around and check things out. Well, yeah, and we'll certainly answer questions even if you don't sell. We'll still give you information and, uh, you know, starts tomorrow, Wednesday through Sunday. And will people be able to purchase items too? No, there's no purchasing. No purchasing. So no you don't have to feel pressures, the okay. pressure to buy anything. No, no, there's no okay. purchasing. You actually have to have a resale license and everything for all that. So we couldn't even if we wanted to. Oh, I see. Okay. That's okay. important. Let people know we can't sell. If they see something and badly, we just can't for that reason but All right. mm -hmm. well perfect well nice having you here for the past well. month and a half it's been cool we'll pop in again showing sometime. all these great toys yes yeah. <laughs> and let us know how things go please do do that for sure all right Yay. great we'll be right back it is 750